This is tutorial 5-1 in GIS Tutorial Workbook 3. In this tutorial, we're going to be setting up map topology. And what we have now is police districts, police district boundaries, and city limits. Now, as you can see, some of the city, uh, some of the districts are not completely filling their their district and some are extending past city limits so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be fixing that so we're going to set up our first study site which is this one down here in number five so we're going to go to bookmarks and manage our bookmarks and they want us to add PD1 And we're just going to follow that now and zoom down here. They want us to start an edit session. Now, normally something pops up saying to pick a geo database that you want to edit in. All these features are in the same geo database, so that option does not come up. Then they want us to make police boundaries police district boundaries to be the only selectable layer. So that's now done. And then they want us to select that boundary. Then they want us to use the toolbar for this is topology. And they want us to choose the select topology. Now the book has it as map topology, but that is either for ARC 10 or ARC 10.1. So we're just going to click on this and we are going to have police district boundaries and police districts as our two features. Once that's done, we are going to use the topology edit tool, which is this right here. If you come do the drop down arrow, there's two. You want to make sure you have the edit tool. And what they want us to do now is they want us to double click on this right here. So the vert for Texas show up. And this toolbox always pulls up when you're interacting with these. These allow you to modify, add, remove, and some other things. So they also want us to go to shared features. And if you click on this one or click on this one, it flashes depending on which one you're looking at. That's the uh, the only thing that you can really do in that right now. And what they want us to do now is they want us to click on this and they want us to snap it to the city limit. Then we do the same with this. And because we had these two done in select topology, when I click the finish sketch, it will also drag in the police districts, even though I did not move their vertex. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to bookmarks, manage bookmarks, and we're going to load PD2. And we're going to go there. Now this, we have the district exceeding the city limits. So what they're going to have us do is, um, if you stopped editing, just start editing again. And we're going to use the edit tool. And we're going to choose the boundary. And as you can see, the boundary comes over here and then connects there. Now this could have been a simple, these were deleted and it, snap from this one to this one. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this line here. And the way we're going to do that 
is we're going to use the split tool. So click on the split tool and then right here, click there. You're going to want to select it again. Select there again. Then you can select this and then slim, simply delete it. Now, if you were to stop right here, you'd get a huge error because now this polygon does not, it has a break in it, which can't be done. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose police district boundaries. <coughs> we're going to have the line. And we're going to create this and we're going to match it with the, the city limit. Now we're going to use the trace tool. Now, as you can see, I can't really connect to the police boundaries. That's because of these city limits is above it. So I'm just going to click on police districts and bring it above it. And now I can click on right here and you see it, it tried to go here this way, but now it's following city limits. It's that gray little line. Okay, and now I'm going to right click or just double click. Um, I thought I could right click and finish sketch, but it wouldn't let me. So now that that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to split um, this polygon. And you used to do that in this toolbar or toolbar but you can't anymore um, so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go up to customize toolbars and it's in the advanced editing tool and it's right here split polygons so you're just gonna click on that and you're gonna when this window pops up you're gonna choose police districts and you can keep the cluster tolerance the same make sure this is still highlighted. Then just click OK. OK, now we're going to clear our selection. Go over here. We're going to make police districts selectable. Then we're going to use our edit tool. Click on it. It is now selected. Just simply delete. Now we're going to zoom to our full extent and our map looks much better now. Uh, this area over here is still a little messed up, but I assume that's what's going to be done in the exercise. And that's it for this tutorial.